I'm Jennifer Novak, and I work with a variety of clients throughout California, helping them understand California's environmental laws and how they can avoid legal problems. So today I wanted to start a conversation about what to expect if you receive a letter from a government agency asking for you to investigate possible contamination at a property. Now, first off, if you're receiving this letter, it's usually because you or your parents or your grandparents likely owned a business that typically handled hazardous materials. And these could be things like oil or solvents or chemicals or metal solutions. So we're generally talking about businesses who are in things like manufacturing, dry cleaning, auto repair, but it could also be any business that used or stored these materials on site. So there's usually a triggering factor that put your property on the state's radar. So for example, if the next door neighbor is trying to sell their property and they do some sampling and they discover contamination, they might suspect that the problem really started at your property. Or it could be a situation where another business or property owner is doing their own environmental investigation and they come across a material that isn't associated with their problem so they do some research to find out where it might be coming from, and they determine that your business is associated with that type of problem. So as an example, one of our clients is located across the street from a gas station that had a leaking underground storage tank. The gas station was sampling groundwater to find out how far that problem had spread, and they found some material in their samples that aren't associated with a gas station, but unfortunately they are associated with the kind of business on my client's property. That's the first step. If you receive a letter from a water board or from the Department of Toxic Substances Control and they tell you that you're associated with a business or a property that is suspected of having contamination, okay, first off, don't ignore it. You're gonna have to look at what they're alleging and you're going to need to sort through your legal obligations. Most importantly, you need to move fast because these orders usually ask you for a work plan or a response within a very short time frame, like a month or two months. Sometimes you can get an extension, but by the time you find an environmental consultant and you talk to an attorney that you can trust, you're not gonna have much time left over. So if you or your business has received an investigation order and you have any questions about whether you need to respond, what you need to do, we see these all the time and we can answer those questions for you. So just give us a call.